my subscribers and guests of my channel. Welcome to Good Fairy Art channel. In this video I will teach you how to draw a dragon. I was actually drawing one dragon yesterday, you can see it here. So I was recording the video and uh, the memory on my phone was over, so I didn't really finish recording. So I'm, I will draw another one here to match this one. Hopefully I will have the similar style to, so they can be like a set of two dragons. So this dragon will be in different position. I don't have any reference photo I'm drawing, drawing from my head. So uh, I start with a uh, really, really small head and uh, a body of the dragon is like a oval shape and two wings. This will be a flying dragon around this area and uh, leg and the tail and then I connect uh, the head with the body with two lines and connect uh, the wings with the body as well so then I'm, I'm starting drawing the details so I draw the head it will be open head, like a, like a kind of beak. And upper one should be like longer. And then eyes area and the little feathers going to the back. And I'm gonna draw the neck a little bit banded like this. And the wings go first banded, then it come here with a claw, and then it comes in two sections down. And here should be another four sections, so I go like one, two, three, four. And the same on the other side. So this is where the claw was and maybe here another claw and then another one here, another claw, then again like here symmetrical two parts down and then it goes in four sections here. So one, two, three, so you make like a wave move. Four. and here two so then goes the body body comes uh, to one leg is behind one is at the front and the leg is bended so leg goes like this and leg also has a cloth at the end kind of bird cloths so I'm gonna draw two fingers here and one down and then go the tail. Tail is also like wig wiggly and then I draw second part of the tail. So I want it to be thin at the end so this is was too thick, I, I'm gonna erase it. And a little bit of the leg here. Here, so I'm gonna remove the unnecessary lines so I can draw more detail and darker ends, like silhouette of of the dragon. So I'm erasing the uh, my first lines where I just marked the shapes, the circles, the ovals, like this. 
and uh, then I'm gonna define the lines at the end of the dragon so I do add a little bit of teeth and I will add also a tongue like this and some teeth and I will make this feather longer and then I will add some shapes on his neck like triangles like he has a scales and I'm gonna also add a little claws at the tips of his wing like this and I'm gonna make this this claw more pointy and I'm gonna add some triangles here as well they are like longer in the middle and disappear at the end so here we go I think the sketch is done and uh, I'm gonna move to coloring so now that I done my sketch I'm gonna start coloring I already have some mixtures of blues on my palette from yesterday's drawing so this is cerulean blue and this is uh, indigo blue and uh, two other blues i will uh, write uh, the blues i'm using in description of this video so i'm and here i had like a white and turquoise all together so i'm gonna try to mix the color i'm using here so i'm using some turquoise i like dragon to be more green so i'm, I'm gonna add more green there not too much so i'm gonna try on his head see it's too green so i'm gonna add some blue so i i start with the head it's really really tiny teeth add some blue So I'm trying to repeat the same colors as I had in the first dragon so they look nicely together if you put two of them on the wall. You can use different colors, it's fine, but uh, because I'm trying to make a set I want, to, I want them to be in the same, approximately the same color combination. So now I see I'm going to green, so I'm gonna start adding more blue or even black. So I have my another palette where I have more blues, so I'm gonna add some blue from here. So I don't like how it came up because it's too blue here, I'm gonna add the old color here again. And I'm gonna add some more blues here because this is really green. Yeah, now it gets darker and more blue. Still too green. Oh, I maybe dilute it with the water now. Because I really have like a blob of water here. Let's see how it goes. Add some water. Maybe add green again. I also have like turquoise green. I'm gonna add it here too. So I'm trying to draw all along the edge of my paint. So there is no dry lines. That's why I have to move really, really quickly. This is too dark. I added black. So I'm gonna add some blue. And 
and some water. Now I'm gonna add some another blues to give more varieties of colors. And if I left any white spots, I color it later. Like, see, there is white spot, I color it now. I'm adding some black and my old palette as well. And some green. So I see my colors are too dark. So I'm gonna dilute my pigment with some water. Let's see how is it now. And add some blue. some black so make sure you draw right away to the edge of the wing because it has to be one once colored and you don't go to the same color again because right now you are making a nice water flow if you go there again with your brush you will just create a dirt I really like how it goes from the first time. That's why it's important to mix many blue colors right away. So you don't need to add others later. So I think I'm again too dark, so I'm gonna add some more water. Yeah, now I'm having some more transparency here, which is what I wanted to achieve. So again, I'm working on the edges of uh, my coloring right away on all the wings and the body. So it's important uh, that you move quick because here you see it start drying very fast so it doesn't blend well if it's too dry if it's a little bit dry it's okay if it's too dry you just add bigger blob of pigment so it might uh, mix together So I'm having like a lighter colors of the wing now, it, which makes it more transparent. And body is also going to transparent. Because I started the head very dark, now I want it to be more diluted. Adding some more blue. Okay, so I added some more blue and it became dark again, but this is what it is with watercolors. Sometimes you are planning one thing and you end up with something different, but you go with the flow. If you have like a darker spot on different side or a lighter spot on a different side, it's fine. As soon as the uh, color combination is uh, satisfying, you are good to go and you did, if you did any mistake, there are no mistakes in art, it's uh, good to try 
and next time gonna be better. And also if you don't have much of uh, blues like I have, you can also mix some blues with uh, black, with white, with green to create more blues, even with purple. Also color of your dragon will be different, but the more colors you use the better. You don't want him to be like all plain same blue because the beauty of it is of how the colors turn to each other like here green turn into blue this is what makes it beautiful here i go to green again because i was blue for a long time So I'm adding some darker blue here, so the leg is very defined, very dense. And the same with another leg, so they are same color, everybody will understand that is the second leg. Also it's behind, but you can see the cloud popping at the back side. And a little bit more darker blue at the end of the tail. Like really deep blue. And green. Okay. And also I will color the clothes. They are greener than the wings, so I'm gonna add some blue. So I'm adding some blue to make it darker. So now I'm gonna leave it to dry for a little bit. So what I did with my previous dragon, as you see, I added some uh, splashes with my paintbrush, which are darker blues and uh, also some whites and uh, you can see some big spots. So what I'm gonna do, I want to do the same technique with my dragon. So first I'm gonna collect some blue on my brush and I'm gonna add some spots on the body on the head this dragon is smaller than previous one so i cannot really put just on the dragon so it goes all around but i'll do my best to stay within his area if it goes around the dragon is fine but my main purpose is to stay in the dragon So when you're done, you dry, dry your brush. And what I did, I also used the big splash. So I added some paint and I like threw the water on the dragon like this. See the big line and another one. And one more and maybe more. One second. Okay. So now I'm done with the big one. So I think I overdid it, but I will try to fix it with white paint. So right now I washed my big brush. I'm gonna wash it later properly. And I'm gonna wash my small brush very, very good. So it doesn't have any blues. So you can see here I added some white while I was drying. So I'm gonna take some white and I'm gonna stain it here as well. So I'll add some water and go like this.
but because it's very solid it doesn't really stain so I want to make like a long lines see like this so you go against your finger and you make a line see this line add some water if it doesn't go I'm adding water and then see this line I want to have so I need too much pigment and water see this line I'm trying to get another line on this wing okay I have a little bit here And in that one I also added some water blobs on my existing big stains. So I'm gonna add one here. I think it's too much, so I'm gonna remove a little bit. Slightly touch some some of the big splashes, and I'm gonna add some darker blue to the places which you didn't dry yet. So I think I'm done, and uh, you can see now they match each other nicely. Uh, I might uh, digitally flip this dragon so they face each other when they are on the wall. So I hope you catch up drawing with me. If I'm too quick, you can pause anytime. And if you did draw the dragon with me, please tag me so I can see what you came up with. Big thank you to everyone who watched my video. Who didn't subscribe, please subscribe. Write your comments, press likes. Press bell to be first to watch news of our channel. I wish you good mood, inspiration and see you soon.